Hello, this is a video of the interior of the Roland VS2000. You're going to have to remove a bunch of screws from the back. It's relatively easy. It's not as hard as opening the VS2480. The rubber feet on it, they don't need to be removed at all. And you don't have to remove the side panels. I thought you did, but and that's what the side panel looks like. But um, I removed it from one side. Needn't be done. That's my VS2480. And that's my other VS2000. The one I'm about to open is the backup one. And I want to see about putting an SD card in it. So this is the first time I ever opened it. And I noticed there were no videos of the procedure. So as you see, it's got a small fan it's a smaller fan than in the VS2480 and it goes to that spot right there that's where it powers from and voila here you have it IDE drive it's a Western Digital CD drive that's where the VS8F2 card or VS8F3 cards go in those two slots yep have a good look CD drive D power supply that's the cable to the digital I mean the VGA output you have to purchase that so the great thing is this is just a simple IDE cable I figure it should just work. You know, you get the IDE to SATA adapter. And I'm going to try it out. So I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. And I will post my findings on the VS Planet website. Whether it works or not. It worked in my VS2480 using SSD card and it made it so much quieter. So I'm hoping the same thing will happen. It'll just be, you know, that IDE ribbon to the adapter to an SSD drive, solid state drive. Cheers.